22 News. The statewide program that helps feed Vermonters affected by the pandemic will be around a little longer. As Local 22's Mike Hoey shows us, it also helps restaurants and Vermont farms. He joins us tonight in the studio. Hi, Mike. Hi, Lauren. Vermont Everyone Eats pays restaurants to cook healthy meals like this one free of charge. The restaurants have to buy at least 10% of the ingredients from Vermont farms and food producers. Kate Rowland lives right around the corner from Our Lady of the Holy Rosary Church in Richmond. She often stops by the church on Thursdays with her dog in tow to pick up free dinners from the Overlook Cafe in Burlington. Their chicken stir fry and vegetarian stir fry are among more than 1.6 million free meals Vermont Everyone Eats has distributed statewide. It's been a huge help for me financially, of course, and just with ta saving time, not needing to cook every night, and um, yeah, it's been a saving grace, really. $5 million from the CARES Act launched Vermont Everyone Eats in August 2020 and sustained it through mid-December. Since then, FEMA has chipped in nearly $14 million to keep the program going. It was due to be phased out two weeks ago on September 30th, but... We've been extended through the end of December, so we will be giving meals out through at least the first three weeks of December, and we're still figuring out the last... We get a summer there. You need to register in advance for some meal sites, but at many of them, including Richmond, you don't. You don't have to um, be eligible income wise. You can really just show up and tell us how many meals you'd like. And um, we like to keep it for everyone. That's why it's called Everyone Eats. More than 200 different restaurants have taken part in Vermont Everyone Eats. I'm shocked that it's still going on. So it's, it's every week that I can come here. I'm just very grateful for it. And every week is different variety of food, which is really nice. Um, and the food is like very uh, wholesome and healthy. Now, Lauren, if you'd like to know which meal drop-off site is closest to you, when it operates, and which restaurant serves it, you can find a complete list of all of that information through a link on our website tonight, mychamplainvalley.com. In the studio, Mike Hoey, Local 22 News. Thank you, Mike. As Northeast Organic Family Farms remain at risk with Horizon leaving the 